So I just had to show you, I'm messing around with the FT817 and the K1. And this is a station admittedly probably 50 or 60 miles from here. And it's, uh, the frequency is 7049. So it's across the bay, San Francisco Bay on 40 meters. So it shouldn't be good, it's like ground wave. But I wanted to show you the difference between the K1 with the filters on um, and the filter right now. There's the wide one. And here's all the way down to filter three. And you can see that's pretty copyable. And now here's what we get on the 817. And that's with the RF gain turned down, with IPO on, with noise blanker. I'm just, I'm not sure. You can copy it, but it, I really need to get a filter or some kind of better audio filter or something because that poor old 817 by itself is pretty hard to deal with on CW. This makes you kind of spoiled. And that filter's a little hollow sounding, but it's still pretty copyable. It's interesting too, it's, uh, I think it's K, what did I hear, K7SU and uh, WA6PK3. So this is Boise, Idaho to Alameda, California. And uh, it's pretty interesting that the guy in Boise is pretty copyable, but still way better on the K1. So with the, with the RF gain turned down as far as you can go, and the volume back up. Okay, there's the guy in Boise. So that's pretty good. You could copy that, but it's kind of noisy. Here he is on the K1. It's pretty hard not to enjoy that. So if you can get your hands on a K1 and enjoy the fact that you got three filters at your finger and you don't have to pay $200 for each filter, it is pretty cool. Anyway, that's the story. I'm going to go put a couple of projects together. I'll do something for you and see you later.